Chapter 57 Nancy stood outside Jack's cell with her arms crossed. It took some effort seeing him like this, shaken and pleading, but she swallowed her sympathy and denied his request to bail him out. Whatever happened all those years ago was no excuse for what he was doing to Craig or himself. Jack glared at her with flaming eyes. She never knew they could hold so much hatred. What do you mean you won't bail me out? Jack asked, leaning against the bars. His hands shook. He was sweating profusely. I'm going out of my mind in here. I'll get you out on one condition, bucko, Nancy said, standing her ground. You have to go to alcohol treatment. Rehab? Jack cried. Are you crazy? I don't need rehab. I need to get out of this hole. Nancy shook her head. That's the deal. If you don't, I'm warning you. I'll be taking the lad away from you. Craig? Jack raged. He's mine, do you hear? Mine! For what? Nancy asked. To beat up when the mood hits you? To treat like a dog? To take his money and drink it all away? Jack exploded. Don't you dare talk to me about money! You don't know what I went through for my family. I was paying the bills when I was 12, remember? Why don't you tell me what you went through, Jackie? Nancy asked, lowering her voice. Tell me, and we'll help you, lad. You need help. I'm giving you a chance here. Jack stepped back from the bars. His whole body shook from the DTs and rage. Doesn't she know I'm going crazy? Can't she see how badly I need a drink? It's all I can do not to hang myself with a goddamn sheet. Every cell in his body cried out for alcohol. His head swam. His chest felt like an enormous vacuum. God, is there no mercy? They're trying to kill me. Jack's arm shot through the bars, reaching for his mother. Nancy stepped back. No, Jack raged. His eyes were green atomic mushroom clouds. Come closer. Let me get my hands around your neck. You try and take my kid, and I'll kill you. Do you hear me? Nancy turned away. Goodbye, Jackie, she said, waving to the guard to let her out. You think about what I've said. Jack screamed at her some more, but the words pouring out of his mouth made little sense. He felt such hatred and betrayal. If he could squeeze through the bars, he would kill her, and everything would be okay. The outer door slammed shut, and she was gone. Only a wisp of her perfume remained to remind him she was ever there at all. Jack broke down, tears of rage running down his face as he fell onto his cot. Alone. I'm all alone. At least, he thought he was. A rank scent filled his nostrils. It was the foul stench of his nightmare. Jack looked up. His heart stopped in his chest. There was a dead man sitting on his bunk. His vacant eyes glared at him. Well, Dugan, Lieutenant Sweetwater said, you finally hit bottom, soldier. How does it feel to be lower than snake shit? Jack felt Sweetwater's death breath on his skin. He stared wide-eyed into the green face of his decomposing platoon leader. Sweetwater leaned over, the bones of his skull visible through his tightly drawn skin. Jack spastically shoved back against the wall. He held his hands up, trying to ward off the apparition. He cried out to the security camera, begging for someone to save him. The officer on duty at the monitor desk shook his head. Drunks, he knew. Ten years behind the desk taught him well the stuff they pulled to get attention. He would watch in case Dugan tried to commit suicide. It wasn't happening on his shift. Too much paperwork. Get a grip, soldier! Lieutenant Sweetwater yelled. His black, greasy tongue lolled inside of his mouth. This isn't a social call, Dugan! Go away! Jack cried, swinging wildly with his fist. Sweetwater caught it in his left hand. He grabbed Jack by the neck with his right and squeezed. Jack gasped for breath. Don't mess around, Jack, Sweetwater said, 
his lips curling into a snarl. Not many people get a second chance. You have a lot to atone for, boy. You better be ready. He let go. Jack panted, his hands over his face, struggling to breathe. What do you want from me, man? he asked. Silence was his only answer. Jack peered over his fingertips. He was alone again. The apparition was gone. Sweetwater's foul reek remained. It mixed with Nancy's perfume. Jack burst out with nervous laughter. His body shook as the convulsions returned. He got up and stumbled to the sink. He took handfuls of cold water and splashed it onto his face. He held the last splash to his cheeks, letting his hands slip slowly down. Sweet water, Jack thought. He would be tough enough to come back, wouldn't he? I must be going out of my... His gaze fell onto his neck. Five neat bruises were forming where Lieutenant Sweetwater grabbed him. Jack stumbled back, holding his chest. His eyes rolled into his head, and he fainted. <laughs>